Hi everyone, my name is Evans Nicholson. I'm from the Product and Solutions Marketing Team here at ServiceNow. And today I'm going to talk to you about AI-powered service operations. But first I'll answer that question that I bet a lot of you already have. What are you talking about? So let's first start with AI. AI, which of course stands for artificial intelligence, at a high level is the way we design systems and produce outcomes that mimic the way we think as humans. I'm outside, there's water falling on my head, I'm not underneath a waterfall, this must be rain. Quick IT example, there's a lot of users who are having trouble changing their passwords, and different users are also unable to get to SharePoint. Now you know as a services engineer that both those activities rely on VPN, so maybe there's a problem with VPN. So AI is designing systems that rec can recognize those kind of things on their own. Now service operations is the concept where two crucial teams in today's digital workplace, the services and the operations teams, work together on a common platform. So let's talk about those two teams. The services team, they're in charge of taking in all IT-related employee requests. They also deliver outstanding employee experiences. And of course, they need to handle those as quickly and as seamlessly as possible. These are the kind of things that the services team does. Not everything, but you get the idea. And then the operations team, they're in charge of all of the incidents and the management, really, of the machines, the services, and the applications. Now, keeping those services and applications running is crucial not only to customers, but employees. These are the kind of things the operations teams do on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, even though these two different teams may have different managers, different tool sets, and slightly different charters, they share the same goal of delivering engaging services so both employees and customers are happy and productive. And of course, when those services go down, they need to bring them back up as quickly and as seamlessly as possible, informing people along the way. That helps develop trust. Now, I bet you can imagine that there's interconnectivity between these teams just by looking at this list, right? So let's say, for example, there's a change on the services side, a DevOps change, and that change affects a SQL server, a database server that the operations team is in charge of. Now we have possibly an outage based on a DevOps change. The operations team is handling it now. Let's go the other way. A firewall change somehow knocks out email. Now the services team is dealing with a lot of incidents related to email. So it's the combination of these two teams and the creation of customized workflows and workspaces that foster seamless interaction. That's the ServiceNow service operations approach. Now, another thing that these two teams have in common is they have to analyze and deal with and come to decisions based on a lot of data. Having data is not the problem these days. It's, it's understanding it, right, and making sense of it. And that's where the AI-powered part comes in. Today's services and operations teams need to take advantage of data science models, and they need to understand and work more towards using those to help them in their day-to-day -day work. So let's see exactly what we're talking about and show some quick demos. A key component of the ServiceNow service operations approach is the new service operations workspace. Here we have Lakshmi from the services team working on a ticket in the service operations workspace. Lakshmi can check the experts on call section to see who she needs to work with from the operations team. She can then initiate a Microsoft Teams conversation right from the Now platform. This is a great example of seamless interaction. Pertinent information from the incident is brought into the conversation so they can get on the same page quickly and information is not lost while context switching. Upon resolution, a record of communication between teams is conveniently captured in the ticket. And here we see Amelia from the operations team checking out the services view. From this high-level overview, she can jump right into a high-priority alert. The recommendations section uses some AI to show relevant knowledge base articles and can even surface similar events and related configuration items from the ITSM tables, which the services team usually populates. This gives the operations team historical context linking to similar incidents from the past and connecting the dots between configuration items that may have an impact on one another. And here's a good example of a self-help benefit you can get using mm -hmm. AI-powered service operations. Here we see an employee is using a virtual agent conversation to work through an issue she's having with an ordering system her company uses. Relevant knowledge base articles are suggested based on what is typed thanks to natural language understanding. In this case, the operations team has utilized the Customized Automation Action Alert to alert employees of an outage to a critical service. This helps to deflect new incoming tickets because affected users are not in the dark about ongoing issues. And finally, here's an example of moving towards a self-healing environment. 
In this case, our operations engineer is reviewing a recent change, which is the suspected root cause for a critical service outage. With the combination of ITSM and ITOM, she is able to view the details from a DevOps config change that caused the disk to fill on a database server. From the service operations workspace, she can then go into the playbook section and choose from one of the customized automation workflows the team has developed. In this case, she's manually running the fix, but this could easily be written so that anytime disk space is nearing full on critical servers, this playbook could be run automatically to expand disk space. Another important thing to remember is that with many CIOs running towards, not walking, but running towards the self-healing, self-help environments, ServiceNow's AI-powered service operations can help them get there quicker, and I hope you saw some of that in the demo. For more information, check out the Automate Technology Service Operations section underneath the Solutions area of our webpage. Check out the AI Ops page, and for more demos, check out the Demo Now section of our website at this address. Thanks very much, and I hope to talk to you soon.